Hello. This is uh, just a really quick preamble to w what you're about to see. Okay, so first things first, just to put this out there. I don't condone drinking in excess. What you're about to watch is, uh, I probably should have waited to do when I was sober because I mean like this video was like a lot of stuff to edit and I'm still editing it right now, but I'm making this preamble just to let you know. Uh, there's a lot of times when I trail off in the middle of making this and a lot of points that I, I kind of lose, but just bear with me. I decided to still keep this video because it seems like it would be entertaining to watch and I feel like there's probably Probably some people that'll get a kick out of it. But also, no, this is not something I normally do. I drink very seldomly. I don't like drinking that much. And usually when I do drink things, I drink non-alcoholic beers or like usually just like a glass of wine every so often. I usually don't get into liquor that much. And again, with that being said, if you're a child and you're under the age of like, what is it that YouTube allows, like 13, click off. Please, please don't. Without any further ado, I will just say one other thing. This video, yes, is pretty heavily edited, but I did try to keep a lot of a lot of the video like a as clean as possible. So there are spaces where I like I just stop and just am laughing, and there's places where I kind of trail off and I'm not really making sense a lot. But I did try to keep a lot of what I was saying in the video, even like some of the parts where it's like a little bit down a rabbit hole. I tried to keep it all in there in, in one, just so that way you get the general feel of where I was at that that time. But either way, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Without further ado, let's uh, let's get into this mess. Okay, hold on. Let me turn myself on so I can hear myself. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Hi. I uh, okay. Disclaimer <laughs> before this. Video starts um the tequila bottle was unopened and like full up to about like there and as you can tell i've had to about there i i do not condone drinking a lot that's not good i don't i don't recommend that i've had like four tequila shots though actually and then a bottle of rumple let me find the bottle yeah don't worry it's not a big bottle it's one of these little ones but i, li I like rumple rumple's pretty good it's tasty anyway hi we're here oh hold on i didn't do the clap um whoa we're here for another music review and we're doing uh, another classic band today and I actually like this song now so disclaimer Metallica if um what's the name of the song if darkness had <laughs> if darkness had a son um yeah yeah um this uh, I like this one actually um let's get let's just jump right in with a general like overview <laughs> let me grab the <laughs> this is huge i don't like how big this water it's got a receipt on it from when i bought it but it's like this is a big water bottle <laughs> this is big <laughs> I don't know if that's safe to drink out of. Before I get too drunk, this turns into 20 minutes, like the second. The for the this is the second take. This is the second take. Um, before the first take took 20 minutes, so let's try and do this in in moderate time. Uh, with a general overview, this this song's pretty cool. Um, it reminds me a lot of like "And Justice for All" material and stuff like that. I'm just taking my socks off and like throwing them over just so you guys have proof i'm just taking my sock i don't know why i did that so this song is pretty good um it, it sounds really nice and really full it, it's not bad why did i decide to flip this bottle of rumple it sounds pretty good from a musicality perspective it like it doesn't sound bad it's not like too aggressive in its tone or anything like that but it reminds me the way it's like written a lot of um and justice for all and like black album era like kind of in between that um region it sounds really nice it sounds really good and clean i like the way that it, it it's written the song structure is pretty similar and even the way the riffs sound is like <laughs> pretty similar looking at it from the musicality perspective and from the mixing and mastering side of things the songs mix and master pretty well i i like i like i've said before but with the symbols like they just just check the symbols a different way but like even then like it doesn't necessarily have to be checked that bad um like it, 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 mm, mm. the way that this sounds to me is that it sounds like that they did the symbols at like five 
thousand hertz and just cut it off from there so it sounds a little bit too high for me i mean i would prefer would have a little bit of broader range with your um symbols but that's not 100 percent necessary like that's just my particular taste i mean again that's just what it sounds like to me my ears could be tuned a different way um someone they, they could have the symbols tuned correctly and i just i don't 100 percent know i mean like i'm i'm kind of wasted right now i listened to the song on my lunch break and it sounded really nice in my car so yeah i'm also wiping my feet on the carpet continually i don't know why i also have to pee so let's make this quick um yeah overview it sounds pretty darn good it's mixed really well it sounds very nice um I don't have any problems with that. And mixing and mastering, I don't have any problems with that either. Other than just turn up like the bass a little bit. You know, the the um the one with four strings. Turn that up. What was I gonna say? And make it uh, yeah, make it clanky. Make it clanky. Because uh, like that that's a good oh, I just hit my phone. That that's a good thing. A good thing to make it clanky, because like that works for metal mixes. Um the drums sound really nice. Uh they sound very nice and full. I don't know if these ones are triggered or not, or if they're just programmed. I I don't know. They sound not bad though. I mean like it's a pretty standard Lars Ulrich kind of beat. It's just kata That's probably really bad and out of time. <laughs> I've got to work in the morning. This is the problem. Um, From the musicality perspective and writing of things, like, this song honestly is written, like, in the style of um the, the Black Album and Injustice for All. And I like it. It feels like it's a song that's kind of forgotten. Why do I look so hunched over? Um, It looks like it's a song that's forgotten from that time. Um, The only thing that I will say is that, like, it kind of sounds like in the verse that it's ripping off Megadeth because it's a very chromatic kind of feeling riff. And then also it feels like that the vocal melody is ripping off Megadeth. But there's no real problem with that, like 100%. It sounds like Metallica still. Yeah, this the song sounds pretty good Um, from a music perspective. It, it was written pretty well. There's a breakdown at the end, which is pretty cool. I like that. You you guys <laughs> know I like break breakdowns um going back with another general overview as well oh wait whoa, whoa, whoa the vocals the vocals yeah the vocals sound really good too um the, the opening part kind of sounds a little suspect with um auto-tune it's not like super bad though but like it kind of sounds like it's been auto-tuned but after the rest of the song it kind of feels like dave mustaine which again that's not super bad i really like dave mustaine even though his vocals are not like the greatest i like his vocals because it fits megadeth it feels very um megadethy it's written very megadethy it feels pretty good um but yeah it's like it's not a huge problem it's not like anything like that it still feels like it's metallica but it just feels like it was written in the style of megadeth from the uh an, a second general overview once again the way that the song is mixed and mastered i would have changed a few things personally but it's, it's um it's not like a massive ordeal mass massive ordeal um i would i, I would have just done a few things per uh different personally as far as the writing perspective of things goes it's written very well there's a very good song structure and i appreciate the kind of like it's a breakdown at the end and i like breakdowns you you guys know how i am uh if we're gonna give this song a rating i'm gonna be like fully honest with you i really like this song but it's not like a blow me away song blow me away usually means it gets an eight or above so this song gets a good solid 7374. I'm gonna you know what? No no no. We're just gonna give it a 74 out of 10. That that deserves a sub four. But yeah, that's that's the um end of this review. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I, I certainly had a fantastic day, yo. Okay, like I got off at four o'clock and I talked um I went to the gym early and there's this like super, super attractive girl that goes there, right? And I think she's absolutely awesome and beautiful and stuff like that. And I got to have a really nice conversation. I, I love talking to her whenever she comes in, right? And and she she usually like makes an effort to come over and talk to me. So that makes me feel like a million bucks, dude. I just wish that I had like the balls to ask her to hang out with me or like, you know, let alone go on a a um a date with me or something like that. Like I wish I had balls to do that, but I don't. But like seriously, she is she's beautiful, yo. She's freaking beautiful. I, I I hope she never finds this video or this channel or anything like that. I'm sure she'd be ashamed of me. Bro, why am I putting my feelings out here like this? Oh, this will probably end up in the video. I don't know. Clickbait. <laughs> 
this video is already long enough as it is. Anyways, check out my other content that I have on here. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get used to like my own flow of things and my making of videos and stuff. So like, bear with me. Check out my other content on here. My other content's pretty darn dope. Jolly O, cheers. Oh, I gotta punch the camera. Hold on. Jolly O, cheers. Uh, cheers. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> I'm bad at this. I'm bad at YouTube. Okay, bye. <laughs>